I'm recording this. <laughs> All right, here we go. From the greenery to the orange rooftop to the picturesque view, we are familiar with this location. This is our home, Pepper Dice. However, behind all this, the beauty of it, I asked some of my friends how they're feeling just on a regular Thursday afternoon. And these are some of the things that they said that they were feeling today, that they, things that were stressing them out. As you can see up here, we have things like lack of time, academic pressure, and expectations. Some things that I think everyone in here, you probably could lie and say you weren't feeling a little bit of pressure from this um, today. So, in an article in The Brink, which is a Boston University um, kind of thing that we have like the graphic, um, essentially they said that, or quoted um, a doctor in psychology, Sarah Lipson who stated that a decline in mental health from recent college students can be attributed to two things, social media and a shift in societal values. Essentially, this shift is from intrinsic to extrinsic, essentially saying that people are more, um, their desire is to make money and have likes and followers than being a good person in their community. This is a, um, a post from Pepperdine's Instagram. It was released in September, so a couple months ago, and it essentially states that our claim, or bra is bragging about how Pepperdine is a top 50 university, according to the U.S. News and U.S. and World Report, um, the ranking of best national universities. So I just wanted to figure out, like, what makes Pepperdine in the top 50? What are the criteria that put us there? So the first one is undergrad or graduation rates and retention rates, which count for about 22% of the ranking. And essentially, that to me says how many students here are willing to get their degree and finish up like their time at Pepperdine. The second one is undergraduate academic reputation. So how rigorous is our schoolwork and our course load, that kind of thing. And then the another 20% is attributed to faculty resources. And that essentially is like how much money do they give to faculty, um, how much how many resources do we get as well, kind of regarding money. So this means that Pepperdine is probably, you can assume from this, that Pepperdine students are very driven. I think we all know that. I think we've seen that in our peers and amongst ourselves. We would say that we are very driven, but the desire to compare ourselves is pretty easy. Everyone here gets really good grades. It seems like that the Malibu sunsets cure all things and that everyone is looking for career success. So Professor Fike is asking, what are you planning on doing with that in your major? So a lot of people ask this with kind of my mindset, and when I hear this sometimes from different people, I'm hearing like, how are you gonna make money with that? And learning is not just to learn, now it's a little bit more about making money. What are you gonna do in the future? What is that, how is that gonna affect you later? The National Health but Alliance on Mental Illness also states that there are other, says that there are other things that are playing track on that. So this is even more thing on top of what I already just stated. So, a lack of sleep is one of them. I'm suffering from a lack of sleep currently. I relate to this. Poor eating habits. The calf. That's all I have to say about that. Um, <laughs> major life changes, which is what we're all going through right now. Whether you're in college, away from home, away from our family. And then on top of that, not having a support network, which if you're brand new, if you're coming from somewhere across the country, um, you might feel, and you might feel that you're not, you don't have a great support network here yet. And that can be really discouraging as you're kind of going through um, your daily life and the stress of all of that as well. I also um, know that Pepperdine being on a hill is very isolating, especially if you don't have a car. It can feel really difficult to get off campus. And that can put a lot of, um, that can put you in a pretty bad mood, especially when the weekends are so dead here and there's nothing to do. Um, I understand that a lot of my friends who don't have cars feel like it's difficult to make connections because no one's here or because there's nothing really bonding us as a student body. A quote from Psychology Today, which um, by Dr. Marshall Reynolds says, feeling alone or empty relates to the quality of relationships, not the quantity. So. Now that we're all kind of in the swing and the um, kind of in the the, the rut of our like 
daily routines, how classes have been picking up, how we have like an end, seemingly endless list of things to do for our classes, we can feel pretty isolated and like there's nothing like a break. And the weekend just seems to fly by. After NSO, there was not a whole lot of things to kind of bring us together, like the pep rally that we had there. And I think that that would be something that would be really awesome for students to get to see the experience. I'll talk about that in a minute. We also, I think we all do this, the procrastination cycle, where that involves a lot of sleep, a lot of, a lot of work, and just an overall, it becomes an overall stressor because of how little perceived time that we have. And while all these things together, the pressure that we feel, the expectations, the system values to have to make money, all of these things that I've already stated ha are contributing to us feeling lonely. And I know that a lot of people, even though even if you're surrounded by groups of people, you're in class in Elkin, you're surrounded by a lot of people, but you can feel pretty lonely. And it's something that the Healthy Mind study, um, which is which is essentially surveys the mental health of stu college students across the country states that around 60% or more of students in college feel that they lack companionship, are left out, or are isolated around, um, yeah. And I think that this, so this is obviously not something unique to Pepperdine. This is um, something that everyone goes through. So a article from Pepperdine Graphic actually took a little survey on how Pepperdine students were feeling last year online, but essentially this can be translated to us now, even though we are in person, about are you pepper fine? So how are you how are you really doing underneath it all? And it talked about it asked about mental health and their answers regarding how many or what do you know about the Pepperdine resources on mental health? And then same over here. So a lot of students are kind of indifferent to the mental health resources that we have here, but I think it'd be a really good way to utilize them. However, there are also these barriers, which I also can attest to, the busy schedule, a little bit of stigma, and then, sorry, the lack of info that people have about the resources we have on campus. So see, these are some of the things that the Counseling Center um, kind of covers. Essentially, there are some bigger things that we think are a little bit bigger, like alcohol and drugs, and anxiety, but there's also things that we might not think about that the Counseling Center can help you with. They say they can help you transition to and from Pepperdine, time management, something that I think we all need a little bit of advice on. They can help you with that as well. This is directly from Pepperdine's Counseling Resource Center website. And then my proposal is to make NSO a little bit, bring that a little bit more into, make it a little more prevalent for us and relevant to us. So putting in um, just an example schedule. And they have really cool things like meeting with your divi division teacher, which is really, really awesome, and the first year seminar thing that we had to do. But I think it'd be awesome to get the Counseling Center to just do a little presentation on what resources they have and how it could be really beneficial for us. Also, prior to school starting, I think we should fill out a Google, like, Google form of what makes someone a good listener. Essentially, saying that you can have a friend and that you can get matched up with a counselor on campus if you so choose throughout the year to use them or the next four years. If you, only if you want to, you would have that, they would have that information on deck and it would be super easy for you to just walk in and say, I would like to have an appointment with this person. We match perfectly through our form and just kind of streamlining the process of getting a counseling appointment. I've tried it, it's a little bit difficult. Um, also, like this is a picture of Moon Orange, Orange Madness, which was super awesome. But I think that a little bit of it was taken away by the fact that we were all worried about like what our parents were doing that weekend because it was during Lazy Weekend. And it would be awesome for us to have rallies on campus. We don't have football. We have we don't have things that like bring us together for the weekend. And it would be awesome to do for the student government or the board to put on rallies that so we can make friends. It'll be something for us to look forward to. And here's a QR code for you to sign the petition to have rallies on campus and also to um, make NSO and counseling resources a little bit more available and out of touch. Sarah Grover in the an article from the graphic says, Pepperdine students are very driven. I love that about them. But I worry about their mental, emotional, and physical health because you can only take care of yourself if you are the best person. Thank you.